Hello everyone, welcome to the DLA practical series. Today we'll be doing this practical that is multiplexer mul and demultiplexer using ICs. We'll verify the working of multiplexer and demultiplexer using the ICs. And also we'll see how to implement expressions or the functions using these ICs. So we will using for for I uh, for multiplexer we'll be using IC seven four one five one and for D multiplexer we'll be using IC seven four one three eight. So this is the the pin out. Uh, th these are the pins actually. I have not shown all the pins. The one which we'll be using in this particular simulator. So uh, at the input, these red lines from D zero to D seven they are the input lines, and Y is the output. And these three, uh, the yellow one, they are the select lines with c as the most significant so when uh, in in multiplexer we have multi many inputs and single output so only one input can be directed towards the output so which will go that is selected by that is selected by the select lines if all these three are zero this d0 will come out to the output end if it is 0 0 1 we will get d1 0 1 0 will get d2 and uh, so on okay so this is the this is the truth table okay with c as the most significant and a as the least significant so we will we'll verify this uh, shortly first we will just i'll just explain the working of this multiplexer d multiplexer okay now let us come to the d multiplexer part now for d multiplexer we'll be using ic uh, 74138 so these are the three input lines a b c actually we'll be using c b a because uh, c is the most significant then this is the input okay this is the input and we have the outputs now there is one input and there are eight outputs so uh, this input where this input will go to the output because uh, there is only one input and this can go on only to one of the outputs any of the output so this select lines will decide so if you make all as 0 0 0 this i that is output will get at y0 if it is 0 0 1 we will get at out, uh, the output at this input will re receive at the y1 and when all are 1 we will get at y7 now there is a bubble at the output bubble means this is active low output okay so that means if input is 0 output is 1 if input is 1 output is 0 okay that is with this we have this bubble uh, this is the truth table we can we will verify this truth table okay so with uh, c as the most significant a is the least significant when all are 0 0 0 all the terminals will become 1 except y0 y0 will follow the input uh, neg negation of the input so this is i bar i bar means what if input is 0 i uh, i bar means uh, output will become 1 if input is 1 output becomes 0 with 0 0 1 we get output at this i input will get at uh, y1 you can see this is diagonally following this so we will verify this truth table for d multiplexer also let us start with the simulator so first we start with the multiplexer so multiplexer ic is 74151 so i click here and then go in miscellaneous digital this one and then uh, here we can find the not in missile sorry we will go in this uh, ttl okay click on ttl so i'll just click on ttl and here we can find the ic number so i just write i'll just type here 7 uh, sorry 74 l s 151 so this is how we recognize this ic 74 ls 151 so this is the 74151 ic i'll just click okay I'll place it here okay and then i need a power supply vcc so sources power sources and then vcc so this is the vcc okay and then uh, we need a probe for output okay so we get the indicator probe we take the red one okay this is the output just place the output here okay i'll just place uh, okay then uh, we need switch okay so for switch we come here and basic in basic we click on switch okay so this is we have dip sw1 okay we need three switches okay i just click here so this is for selection a b c okay this is for select okay this is for select okay. now uh, for this uh, inputs there are from d0 to d7 we have eight inputs and this a b c are the select lines so uh, for ABC, we will use this simple switch, but we c but putting this such switches for all these eight inputs is would be too much uh, jumble up. So we have another option in switch. Okay, so I'll just click here, uh, basic, and basic I'll go on switch, and you can see here DSP K underscore eight. Okay, so it gives us some simple switches. So this is the switch we'll connect here. 
okay so it would be easier for us to connect so many number of switches into instead of this one okay so first of all we connect this vcc to this switch and to all the other switches also this one okay, and this one okay next we connect this the upper uh, power this to the, the switch okay so vcc the upper one to all the vccs one by one so this part is connected to vcc because there are eight inputs so we need this switch as eight then we connect the inputs i'll just put it ahead okay so now just do the connection this is the first one let's take care while connecting okay this is the second one the next one and so on we go on connecting each and every input okay so we connect this eight inputs sorry the next one the second last and the last one so this is how we connect and now we connect this uh, this is the output i y okay then we connect this switches one by one to a b c respectively this is a this is b and this is the last one the c okay now we turn on the power sub uh, we turn on the simulation okay run the simulation okay now uh, with all 0 0 0 let us see what is selected so this is d0 okay now as we can see d0 get selected okay this is how we can just turn it on and off okay you can see the black portion is up it is it is all it is 0 when black portion comes down it is 1 okay so all the other they are not responding as we can see there is no response on the other inputs okay now you make it as 0 0 1 okay so if we assume that g this c is the least significant sorry c is the most significant it means a is the least uh, least significant so i'll just make so this is 0 0 1 0 0 1 means this one will get selected this is 0 0 1 okay then we make 1 0 so 1 0 the second one will get selected okay similarly i just take the last one when all are one okay this will get selected so this is how multiplexer works okay this is ic this so we have studied the working of ic 74151 multiplexer 8 is to 1 multiplexer now let us go for the demultiplexer part now next we go for the demultiplexer ic so we click here okay and uh, select the demultiplexer ic so we go for ttl now in ttl we need to type the ic number 74 ls138 okay so we just select the first one 138d okay we put it okay, okay. and then uh, we need uh, a power supply vcc power supply so we go in uh, sources power sources vcc we select this vcc power supply okay and then we need switch switches actually uh we we'll select three switches okay sorry uh, basic and then switches uh, so sw1 so we'll select three switches one then the second one and the third one now this three will be collect, connected to the select lines okay and we need one more switch actually to for the input okay and then uh, we need probes okay for indicator we need probes so we'd select the probe red probe okay we need actually eight probes okay because there are eight outputs so we just select the eight inputs here okay the first the second one okay and this way we connect the we just select the eight inputs or eight outputs eight probes for eight different outputs this is the fifth one then the sixth one the seventh one and the eighth one so these are the eight outputs sorry we get it from here probe okay so these are the eight outputs okay now how do we connect it so we select this vcc okay vcc is connected to the, the lower switch this is where we connect the input 
so as you can see this input is actually we are connecting it to the g1 the g1 is our input okay so this is our input okay and this these are the eight outputs now where this input will go to the eight outputs this will be done by this select lines so we connect this select lines to the a b c okay so in this c is the most significant and a is the least significant okay so we just connect this switch one by one okay and this this connection is done okay the switch is connection is done now we go for the output as we can see y0 okay we connect this y0 now you can see this output is uh, active low okay active low means what if we in give the input as 0 we get as 1 when we give 1 we get output as 0 okay so this connects connected here in the next one the next one is connected here next one so in this way we connect each and every output to the respective probes okay. so sometimes get jumbled up because of lack of space ensure that this gets connected to the pro proper probe okay and the last one okay so this is the last one okay so this connection is done okay now what we do is uh, now we start the simulation we started okay okay so now all are 0 0 0 0 so select lines are 0 0 so this y0 will get selected okay now this input is 0 so output we are getting as 1 now i make it 0 you can see it is 1 for z when we make input as 1 output becomes 0 you can see for 0 0 0 this input is directed to y0 now if we make this as 0 0 1 okay zero zero one means uh, this y1 will be select this y1 will be selected so if i make this as zero output is one okay i make this as one this becomes zero you can see this this is selected for then zero one zero as you can see the second this will be y2 is selected okay similarly for zero one one y3 and so on if i make all as one 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 the last one this this one is selected as you can see y7 is selected zero for when it is zero it becomes one one it becomes zero so this is how we verify the working of uh, this ic74138 this is now coming to the last part of this practical implement expression or the function using multiplexer ic so we'll probably start with from implement the following function or the expression using multiplexer ic we have f of cba now why i'm reading cba because uh, uh, in our ic c is the most significant therefore we are writing in this way so sigma 0 2 3 7 now this sigma shows that this is a sop expression okay so we need to uh, implement this now in order to implement the above function what we do we connect the multiplexer ic in such a way that this 0 2 3 7 okay if you remember that input we, ha we have eight inputs okay for a multiplexer 151 74151 there are eight inputs d0 d1 d2 up to d7 so this 0 2 3 7 means d0 d2 d3 and d7 we connect them to logic 1 that is vcc and the remaining that is 1 4 5 6 they are connected to logic 0 okay this is how we do this okay and then uh, this is the diagram we'll be implementing as you can see this is the multiplexer ic we already seen the multi of the multi multiplexer ic only the difference is that we are not using the special switch here what we do is we connect uh, this okay one minute i'll just as you can see we connect this d0 okay we connect this d0 okay then uh, d2 d3 and d7 because in our function this we have is 0 2 3 7 so 0 2 3 7 means what? 0 2 d d0 d2 d3 and d7 they are connected to vcc okay uh, as you can see they are, they are connected to vcc okay and uh, we need to take a ground connection here you can see ground so the remaining one okay one and four uh, five six whatever they are and we connect them to the ground okay that is the difference okay so this is how we make the connection and when we just verify by giving them all zero 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 so uh, and all we give all the combination and finally we will get this okay this we can verify that zero 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 it will be one zero zero one is zero zero one zero is one zero one one is one one zero zero is one so as you can see uh, that uh, cell numbers which we are given okay the first one was zero okay so zero the two three and seven we are getting one okay and remaining they they all are zero so this is how we can implement 
okay this is this uh, uh, this particular approach has the advantage we don't need to design or uh, we do any k maps so we can directly implement using the multiplexer ic okay we can even verify this uh, on the let us we let us we can uh, let us do this practical on uh, multi sim software okay so i've done the connection here the is ic as you can see ic 74151 okay and i've taken vcc and i've taken the ground now we have to get the ground ground is available you can you can see this is uh, for for sources in sources power sources and you can see where we find vcc here is the ground we can find the ground okay, the fourth option ground okay so select the ground okay we take the ground connection and connect it to the one which i said okay and this vcc is connected to the given cell numbers which we are given uh, in, in in the function okay now let us verify i just turn it on okay so for 0 0 0 we are getting 1 okay then for 0 0 1 we are getting 0 then 0 1 0 okay there is number 2 okay this one 0 1 1 okay and then finally for all one also we are getting uh, one so if that is cell number 0 3 and 7 so this is how we verify the working uh, the function okay so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching